Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Gracie Trotter's Edios Las Vegas win from 2020. As always, take a look at the box as you once again have very nice box artwork for a car like this. Got a picture of the car behind her, got her in victory lane with the trophy, with uh, whatever that other trophy is. Got Gracie Trotter, General Tire 150 winner, Las Vegas, Nevada. Bill McAnally Racing, Arca Menard Series West. Down the side, you have Gracie Trotter. No render of the car or anything right there for some reason. Main total of 672. That's honestly surprising that it's kind of a low number. I was expecting this one to be as high as the Haley Deegan cars, but maybe that's honestly better for it. Got Arca Menard Series West, standard finish. Got another picture of her in Victory Lane. On the back of the box, 2020 Action Racing Collectibles. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. It is interesting to me that Enios kind of doesn't actually sponsor like in main NASCAR anymore. Like they used to sponsor Kyle Larson and some other teams. And it's kind of funny. They've just pretty much gone specifically to ARCA now. Here's the race winning stack card if you want to read that. This race was under an hour in length apparently. <laughs> That's funny. And there is a little bio if you want to read that. Said so Haley Deegan, this was technically in the NASCAR, you know, East series, the KNN East series, where this is technically ARCA, so she is the first female driver to win in ARCA. Because Haley Deegan, for some reason, was really awful last year in ARCA. That was honestly surprising to me. Like, ARCA has been turned into something, you know, not great. Like, ARCA has uh, kind of fallen off as a series. They're, it's basically very empty fields. This, every race is won by, like, Ty Gibbs, and it's just not a very good series anymore. But I was definitely surprised that Haley Deegan wasn't able to get any wins last year. But at the same time, we did get this, which is really nice. This is definitely a very unique die cast, and I'm sure this is going to be a very sought-after die cast down the road. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Enios. On the front, you got Toyota Camry and General Tire. On the back, you have Enios. You got Napa Auto Parts, Safety Clean 3M, and NKT, or NTK. Front of the rear wheel over here, you got Tearoff, Lincoln Welders, Napa Tools and Equipment, Felpro, Carlisle Tools, Napa Power, Curb Wreckers, Racing Electronics, Napa Belt and Hoses, and Doorman, Doorman, whatever that is. On the C post, you have TRD. On the B post, you have NGK Spark Plugs, Toyota, and Bill McAnally Racing. Got the Napa logo up there. Got a, is that a picture? Must be a picture of like crew members or something not entirely sure what that is and has the arca race winner kind of winner sticker that they have has your regular contingencies and such up front on the back you have napa buy three filters get twenty dollars visit a napa auto parts store or napa auto care center that's kind of funny got toyota camry got the bounty rookie challenge on each rookie stripe got the number 99 bill and mcnally racing and napa auto parts or what does that say Napa thanks 20 years or something, 30 years. Can't entirely read that. On the deck lid and the roof, you have Napa Auto Parts. For some reason, the blue logos instead of just having the regular logos. This is number 508. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you just have a Toyota logo under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. This is basically the old Gorge series gold series so no trunk or roof flaps and there's the underside of the car if you want to see that but now let's get down to the part everyone's waiting for that is the damage this isn't really crazily damaged or anything it is a bright colored car so you can definitely see a lot of the dirt and rubber buildup on the front of the car you see it does have the kind of little braces or little bolts for the valence because you know arca doesn't run the same kind of splitter thing that nascar does which obviously you're not going to get a whole new mold for that but they at least try to put the details in. Got some more dirt and stuff down the right side. Does have a couple little rubber tire donuts. Looks like she was beating and banging somebody at some point during the race. On the back, you see the left rear is a little bit crumpled in. Looks like she definitely got hit a couple times at the same time. More dirt and stuff on the left rear. And other than that, it's pretty much just dirty. No confetti, no real overmarks or anything. Just have a little bit of a marker on the edge of the left front tire there. 
funny how giant her name is on the name rail. Like, that is a huge name for a name rail. <laughs> just kind of a nice paint scheme, and like I said, just a very unique car. Haley Deegan's first win from the, you know, K&N series is definitely a hard diecast to find now. It's pretty sought after, so I would not be surprised if this one's the same way. And I'm pretty sure they made a lot more of that Haley Deegan than they did of this one, so... That alone will probably make this one a little sought after, so I would definitely recommend picking this up now if you want one, because it might not be around forever. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. If you use the code BWAC, you can get free shipping on any order over $20. Let's go check that out if there's anything you want. But at the entrance, all there is to say, this has been a review of Gracie Trotter's Enios Las Vegas win from 2020. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.